You have Lazardo on the mound. You have your big lefty who hopefully can hold, shut down this Braves team. Marlins are looking to sweep the Braves for the first time since 2017. The Braves have only been swept twice here this season. And he's ready for action. Ozzie Albies will lead it off for the Braves. It is the first time that Ozzy has hit leadoff for Atlanta since June 1st of last season. Jesus Lazardo making his sixth career start against the Braves today as Albies swings and misses after a quick offering from Lazardo. That's the first strikeout of the ball game. Here's Austin Riley. Out toward center. Jazz going back onto the track near the wall. Leaps and he makes the catch. Just enough real estate out there in center for Jazz in their two way. What has Jazz not done? in this series. Two up, two down. Here's Matt Olson. Left on left matchup. Bouncing ball to second. But he's off to a terrific start. A perfect first. Here come the fish when we come back to face Charlie Morton. No scoring in the bottom of the first inning. And it is Charlie Morton who has been really good against the Marlins in his career. Getting things off for the Marlins this afternoon is Luis Arise. He's let off two consecutive games with a homer. Tap back to the mound. And a good start for Charlie, getting the toughest out in Major League Baseball, Luis Arise. Here is Jorge Soler. He is back for the first time in 12 days. He's missed some time, but the Marlins have been okay. This ball four. That's a one-out walk issue to Jorge Soler. Pitch to Josh Bell. Two pitch, a swing and a miss at a curveball. And that pitch claims its first victim of the afternoon. Strikeout number one for Charlie. Two down in the inning. Brings up Jazz. A uh, historic day for him yesterday. Got him swinging over the top of a good curveball. Very sharp. And a good finish here in the inning for Charlie Morton with back-to-back -back strikeouts of Bell and Chisholm. We played one inning. We head to the top of the second. No score in Miami. He throws out Berger for the first out here in the bottom of the second inning. It oh, off of Charlie. And it'll go as an infield single for Sanchez. Come out to check on Charlie, see if he's okay. But I, he's saying he's fine. I hope that clipped the bottom of the shoe. It sounded like it did. I guess we'll see how he delivers these next couple of pitches, but he didn't seem to be wincing in much pain. Went around, could not stop his bat on another curveball. Three strikeouts for Charlie Morton. One, two, runner goes, a swing and a miss by Wendell. So two more strikeouts this inning for Charlie. He has four for the game. So singles from Fortez, Arise, and Soler. And now here's Josh Bell. The Marlins have him loaded here in the bottom of the third. That's a seeing eye infield single for Jorge Soler. Just swung on and hit. On a line. Right field. The base hit. Fortes will score. Everybody else will move up 90 feet. The Marlins lead 1-0 here in the bottom of the third. Here comes the Prince. Jazz hit one in the eighth inning last night. Can he keep the line moving? The Marlins lead 1-0. The bases remain loaded with nobody out. Morton comes set. The first pitch that Jazz is swung on and hit high and deep. Right center field. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. A grand slam for Jazz Chisholm Jr. His second in as many days. 5 nothing Miami here in the bottom of the third. They have not been able to do anything in two games this year against Charlie Morton. It's already the most runs that Charlie has given up since August the 6th. Sanchez hit by a pitch. Pick off to first, and they don't get him, and that'll be a balk. That was the third disengagement by Charlie, and on that third, you got to get him. First time I've seen that all year. Yep. And now the Braves want to challenge this one. Sanchez down to first, or down to second base. One hop to throw. Yeah, it wasn't a good throw. They may have gotten him, and they did. They did. Call over turn. Miami Marlins just scored five runs against Charlie Morton. That'll limit Ozuna to a single. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Braves now have an opportunity to fight fire with fire. Braves have him loaded with two down here in the top of the fourth inning for Kevin Pillar. Did he go? He certainly did. So Luzardo works into and out of some trouble. Protects that 5 nothing Marlin lead. Two up and two down here at the bottom of the fifth. Three straight walks to load the bases. And all of this with two outs. Good job. Good job by all three hitters. Right now we go from potentially looking at Charlie throwing a couple more at the start of this inning to having to bear down and make a pitch right here to keep it at 5 nothing. Garrett Hampson has struck out and popped up. Four straight walks for Charlie. Jazz trots home and it is six to nothing Miami. And Brian Snitker is going to take his veteran right hander out of the game here and go to Derek Rodriguez. He gets a ground ball 
from Wendell, hit to Ozzy, and that will keep it at six to nothing as we go to the sixth. Lazardo, who looks really sharp against the most potent offense in baseball. Jesus Lazardo might be done today. If he is, he ends it with a flourish. He punches out the side here in the top of the sixth. Miami leads six nothing. We're in the middle of the sixth. It's a leadoff double for the Marlins catcher here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And here is Luis Arise after the leadoff double from Fortes. And the pitch is swung on in line into center field. And the base hit for Arise. Fortes is around third. He blows through a stop sign. A catch and a tag not in time. Darno loses the baseball. RBI for Luis Arise getting closer to 200 hits and making it 7 nothing. Here is Soler as Arise and Fortes swap places on the base pass. Rodriguez pitching and the 1-1 pitch is swung on and hit high and deep left field. Come on, baby. Welcome back, Jorge Soler. A monstrous shot into the seats above the Marlins bullpen and left. Keep on pouring it on. Nine to nothing, Miami. Jorge has not had a net bat since September 5th, but he hasn't missed a beat. Now the bases are loaded with one out for Garrett Hampson. Chopped to third. Riley has to wait for it to come down. It's all he can do. Run will score. They get the out at third base. Nick Fortes is going to have his second double of the day. It probably will be the final at bat of the day, excuse me, for Luis Arise. And that is a ground ball up the middle and a base hit for Luis Arise. He's got three today. Now he's one shy of 200. He had three yesterday, too. And it's 11 to nothing. Boy, what a day he's having. Jazz just walked for the third time. Here's Jake Berger. Berger, left center. Wall turns, and that's over the wall. A three-run shot for Jake Berger, and the Marlins pouring it on 14 to nothing. And one down here in the eighth inning. Here's the pitch on the way to Azuna. There's some relief let out. And the Braves are on the board. Marcelo Zuna with a solo shot. It's the first time ever a team in Major League Baseball has had four different players with 35 or more home runs. Olsen, Riley, Acuna, and now Marcelo Zuna. And it's a one-out double for Travis. Michael Harris up to the plate. But the Braves bringing the bats to life here in the eighth inning. RBI single Michael Harris, 14-2. Nick Fortes comes to the dish. He's had a wonderful day today. A couple of doubles and a single. Fortes, fly ball, left field, carrying back and carrying out. Big day, Nick Fortes. And that's the first time in his career he's had a four hit game. Birdie's had a nice season series against Atlanta pitching. Base hit center field. Stallings getting the green light around third. He's going to turn and score. And John Birdie brings home the 16th Marlins run, a new season high. Jacob Stallings makes his sixth appearance for Miami. No record of 720 ERA. And the Braves down to their final now. Out toward left. Birdie puts it away. It's a Marlins win, and it's a Marlins sweep of the Atlanta Braves. 16-2 on a Sunday afternoon.